Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you two methods of creating beautiful dodge and burn effects in Photoshop. Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by Dirty Studio. Now before we begin, I want to tell you what dodge and burn is used for. It is used to enhance the darker and the brighter areas of the skin. So let me just zoom in this image and as you can see these areas look dark, these areas look dark, this side look dark, and some of these places look dark. And that is areas we are supposed to burn on our image. You can see these areas, that is the areas we are supposed to burn on our image. And if I press Ctrl Z now to go back and let's press Ctrl Z to go back. And now let me show you where you are supposed to dodge these the lighter areas that you are supposed to dodge these the lighter areas you are supposed to dodge these lighter areas of your image and these areas too that's the areas you are supposed to dodge on your image so when you are doing your dodge and burn process you have to dodge the lighter areas and you have to burn the darker areas so your image will look more nice now to create this dodge and burn process because I will be showing you different methods to do this. Now for the first method we will be using this our curves. So you have to just go to your creating adjustments layer and select curves. Don't worry this is not the method that you know. This is a different method. We are not going to be editing anything in this curve to make it more darker or to make it more lighter. We will not be doing anything. And once you click on the curves you have to press ctrl J again to make another curves layer. Now you have to rename these two layers. You just double click on the name of this curves one and we want to rename it to dodge and I'm just going to type dodge here and once I'm done I'm just going to hit enter on my keyboard and I'm going to go to the next curves one copy layer and rename it to bone. Press enter on my keyboard and once you are done you click on the dodge layer and you change the blending mode to screen. You have to change the blending mode to screen and then you go to your bone layer you change the blending mode to multiply. Now we want to group this dodge and bone layer. So you have to just click on the bone. Then you hold control on your keyboard, control or command. Then you left click on the dodge layer. Then you press control G or you just go to these places and just right click and select group from layers. Just go to group from layers. And once you are done, you have to then click OK. You have to click on this group one layer and once you click on the layer, you just go to this layer max, this add layer max and once you are done, you have to click on the add layer max and it's going to add a white layer max to your image. Now you just go to image and you then move to apply image and as you can see, you have to watch all the settings of my image. You will see merge channel RGB, you will see blending mode multiply opacity 100. Now what you are going to do is that you are going to change the opacity to be around 50 and you make sure the opacity is as 50. You make sure this invert is not click and once you are done you have to just click OK. You have to open this place. Once you open the group layer you'll see burn and you'll see dodge. Now you have to right click on the dodge layer. Once you right click you select blending options and it's going to open or the short form of doing this is by you just have to left click twice on the dodge layer. This place you have to just double click and it's going to open this our blending option and once the blending option is open we want to do some kind of settings on our image but before you do this you have to make sure that you turn off this bone layer you have to turn off the bone layer and once you are done let's open the blending options and, and once i've opened the blending options we want to be doing some kind of editing on our image we want to blend this our image to make it look more nice so we only select those places that we are supposed to dodge and the places that we are supposed to burn once you are moving this triangle this our black triangle and as you can see the result is going to be changing so you have to be looking at your image to see what you are doing let's just move it to be around the air and I'm just going to hold Alt on my keyboard. Once you hold Alt on your keyboard, you click on this triangle and you drag it. Just hold Alt and you click on this side of the triangle. We have to then divide the triangle. And as you can see, if we move this other triangle again, you can see how it is only selecting this, our lighter part of the image to look more 
brighter and it's kind of selecting only the lighter part of the image because we want to dodge the lighter part of the image so i'm just going to call me and do it like this and move here again let's look at the preview this is the before and the after so once you are done you have to just click ok you make sure that your settings look more nice and and once you are done you have to just let's preview it again and we have to click ok this is the before and this is the after that's one of these nice method of this our blending mode option it will make the lighter part of the image only the lighter part to look more lighter and now i'm just going to move to this our bone part to do the same thing i'm just going to either left click twice double click on here to open the blending mode options or i'll just right click once you right click you select blending mode options now for this we want to move this our white triangle down we want to move the white triangle down instead of the black triangle we want to move this our light triangle down because it's for the lighter part of the image and this dark triangle is for the darker part of the image so for this one i'll just move this darker this white triangle to this area and i think it now looks more good but I can still adjust it again because I just want to select even the nose hasn't selected so I'll just leave it to be like this and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hold alt a l t on my keyboard hold alt and click on the side of this triangle then you kind of divide the triangle and it's going to blend the image you can see come here and reduce it let's just reduce it like this and I'm just going to click OK. And as you can see, the results still look too much and it's not looking nice. So what you are going to do here is that I'm just going to reduce the opacity. Let's reduce the opacity. And I'm just going to leave the opacity to be around 35. Or you can still reduce the opacity to be around 29, depending on the kind of opacity that is good for your image. I think 30 or 29 looks good for my image. The dodge and burn effect has affected all our image, but we don't want it to affect everything on our image we just want it to affect the places that we want to do our editing on as in the darker and the lighter places so what i'm just going to do here is that i'm just going to click on this our group one layers and select group from and i'm going to group this layer and what i've done here is that i've created another group layer so anything if i turn this off and turn it on all our effects is going to be under this group two layers now what I'm going to do here is that I'm just going to rename this our group layer. I will rename it to Dodge and Bone. We want to create a black layer max. You just go to this place, click on this Dodge and Bone layer, move to your layer max, hold Alt A L T on your keyboard and click on it. And all the effect is going to remove out of the image and all the effect has disappeared from the image. Now what you are going to do now is you are going to select your brush. Make sure this our foreground color is white, background color is black. This place here, you make sure the one above is white and the one below is black by pressing x on your keyboard if you press x you will see that it's going to change now i'm just going to select my brush once i've selected the brush and let's start applying this our dodge and bone on the skin and as you can see it's making this our darker areas to look more dark and it's also increasing the colors of this our lighter areas you can see the results if we are applying it is going to be showing on our image and don't apply it on the eyes you don't need to apply it on the eyes let's look at the before and this is the after and as you can see anything we are doing on our image is going to be affecting the image if i select my brush and start applying it to this area and as you can see this darker part of the image is becoming more dark and the lighter part of our image is becoming more lighter that's one of the good use of this our dodge and burn effect on our image let's zoom this side and apply it on this side you can see remove these effects on some parts of the image like these areas that look bad you can remove it from this side and you can reduce the flow once you reduce the flow we want to apply it on this place again and it now looks more better you can come down to this place and apply the dodge and burn effect on these areas and the picture is now looking more nice and more beautiful you can still come down to this place to adjust the blending mode option so once you just click on this place you have to double click on it and you can do some kind of settings on the blending option for the dodge and burn you can adjust it to make sure your image look more nice you can adjust the settings but there's no need for me to adjust the settings let's look at the before and the after this is the before and this is the after let's look at the before and the after again this is the before and this is the after so now i'm just going to move to the next 
method of this dodge and bond this is one of the most easiest method this is one of the most long method and is more effective on your image so what i'm just going to do now is i'm just going to delete this our dodge and bond layer once i've deleted the layer i want to move to the next method so i'll just have to go to this our create new adjustment layers and select curves once i'm done selecting the curves i will have to increase the brightness and once we have increased the brightness in the properties we want to rename it to dodge once you are done you have to hit enter and now we want to create another curves adjustment layer you have to move to your creating adjustment layer and select curves now we are going to be dragging these properties we are going to be dragging it down and we are going to be renaming it to bone if this your properties is not showing you have to click on this place and it will show let's say it's not showing you have to go to these areas and double click on it and it's going to show now you have to go to your dodge and press ctrl i on your keyboard now you have to move to the bone layer and the bone layer max and press ctrl i on your keyboard now once you are done creating this dodge and bone layers now we want to create a black and white adjustment layer so we are going to be seeing where we are supposed to be applying the bone and we are going to know where we are supposed to apply the dodge just in case just in case you don't have this your unedited picture below the edited image now you have to go to this your creating adjustments layers then you select your black and white adjustment layer and once the black and white adjustments layer is open you have to go to this your reds and reduce the reds you have to reduce the red and as you can see the darker part of the image is showing and the lighter part of the image is showing so photoshop is trying to tell you that these are the places that you are supposed to apply the dodge and these are the places you are supposed to apply the bone and what you are just going to do now is that you are just going to go to this your bone layer you have to click on the bone layer then you select your brush once you select your brush you have to reduce the size you have to reduce the size of your brush and you start applying it on the places that you are supposed to do in. and once you are done you have to delete this black and white adjustment layer let's reduce the flow to be around two once i've reduced the flow i'll just select my brush and i'm also going to be doing it on this part of our image let's look at it before and this is the after and as you can see this our black and white adjustment layer is showing us where we are supposed to burn and where we are supposed to dodge let's use our dodge now to increase the lighter part of these places so if you are applying it let's come here to apply it and let's look at the before and the after let's just do this the before and this the after but there's no need to use this our black and white adjustment layer because i already have this our own edited image i already have this own edited image here because it's already showing me the places i'm supposed to dodge and the places i'm supposed to burn but just in case your kind of image or the unedited image doesn't have this lighter or darker part of the image or it's not trying to show you where i'm supposed to dodge and burn then you have to create the black and white adjustment layer i'm just going to continue dodging and burning the image i'll just have to select the brush to burn this part this side of the nose and you have to make sure they are seeing the before and the after before and the after you have to make sure they are seeing what you are doing on the image and this is one of the most commonly used method of dodge and burn the first method is more easy because you don't have to be doing all this long process of turning off and turning on turning off and turning on is just one of the most good effective way but most people still use this way because you have more freedom to select where you want to burn and, and you can even dodge the darker areas in this kind of place you can in this kind of method you can dodge the darker areas and even burn the lighter areas that is one of the most good freedom you have while using this method instead of the first method so i'll just select our dodge and let's turn off this edited image again and let's start applying it on this place so i forgot to group this layer you have to click on this dodge layer hold ctrl or command on your keyboard click on the bone layer then you right click and select group layers and we are going to rename it to dodge and bone the reason i group this layer is that so we've seen the before and the after at once instead of going through the process of turning and offing it again and let's look at this image again you will notice that once i have edited this image and i've applied the frequency separation the dodge and bond area has disappeared this is unedited 
and easy edited. That's why you have to be doing this your dodge and bond process on your image again to bring back that nice shape of the face. If you want to remove the filter, press X on your keyboard. So this place will be turned black instead of white and you can remove the effects from the face. Then you press X again to apply the effects on the face. And let's go to the next part of the image, which is this side. You have to dodge this side. So now I will have to turn off this, our unedited image. So I'll be able to see what I'm supposed to do on this part of the image because there is more harder. So I'll just have to select my dodge now and let's increase the brightness of this part. Also increase the brightness of this part and let's look at the before and the after. You have to make sure that you are seeing your before and the after of what you are doing so you don't make a mistake at last. Let's turn it off again. Select our bone and I'm just going to be applying it on this part again. Let's apply it on this part, this darker part and let's see what we are doing again. But we still have to blend this part, it looks too much. So you just increase the size of the brush, reduce the flow, make sure this place is black. Then you select your bone, your bone, yes, and you start removing it to blend in that part of the image. We want to blend in it because it looks too much. Let's see what we are doing again. Our image now look more nice and beautiful. So I forgot to do this place. I forgot to burn this under of her eyes. So I just have to select our bone and turn it off. Turn off the edited part of the image and the edited layer, you have to turn it off. Then we have to go to this, our bone place to apply the bone on this part. Let's go to this place again to apply the bone. And once you are done, let's look at the before and this is the after. Let's also go to this eyebrow to apply the bone. Let's move here to to apply the bone. So once I'm done, I'm just going to move to this body now to apply the dodge and bone on the body. So I'll just go here to move this place and apply the bone on this part of the image. You have to make sure they are turning and off in this place so you see what you are doing. And let's move the here to and let's turn it off and on. If the effect looks too much, you have to also remove it. Don't worry, whenever you turn this off and you are doing it on your image, you will notice that it will look too much on your image. Don't worry, if you turn on the edited image again, you will notice that it will look more or less on the image. So let's turn it off again. Select our dodge. Come to this part to increase the brightness of this part. Let's increase the brightness too of this area. Let's see what we are doing before and the after. And as you can see, it's kind of creating another shape of this part. And I'm just going to turn it off again. Come here to adjust it and also adjust these areas and this part. But some people don't like this thing on their image. So you have to make sure it is more lesser on the image. You don't apply the dodge and bone too much on the image to make sure the neck doesn't look somehow. Now let's look at the before and the after of the dodge and bone. It is the before. And this is the after. Let's zoom in the picture again. This is the before and this is the after. And we are done with this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If this video was very helpful to you, subscribe for more videos. Turn on notifications so YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. And leave a like to help the channel out.